Hey guys, what's up? It's Awesome Cloud the Coast Cloud today. Yeah, I'm back in the bathroom just for today though because I'm too lazy to set up with the lights and everything. So I'm just gonna do it in here for now. Uh, anyway, so a bunch of footage from Canada's Wonderland fan came out about B&M installing a dive coaster at Canada's Wonderland. Uh, yeah, uh, so that's obviously a pretty big deal. It's the second uh, dive coaster in the Cedar Fair chain. Um, however, I do have my own opinions on it. I do think it's actually false. Um, and I'm just going to explain why really, why really quick. If you remember Banshee, when Banshee came out, it used a higher gauge B&M track because the trains did take up more space on the track. So they had to switch out their old track design for a new one. And that's probably what this is. It's probably being an invert track. And honestly, I hope it is. Because Canada's Wonderland has two great coasters right now. They have Leviathan and they have Behemoth. A Giga and a uh, Hyper. And really what they need is a good inverting roller coaster. Roller coaster that goes upside down. And B&M inverts do that pretty much flawlessly with every single ride. Like Flight Deck, Banshee, um, let's see, what all those other Alpine guys, Montu, Nemesis, all those rides are great B&M inverts and they're always really fun. Uh, so yeah, that's why I think it's going to be a B&M invert because of the track size. The gauge is bigger than a normal B&M invert track. Now, really thinking about it, a dive coaster is possible. A dive coaster definitely could go to Canada's Wonderland, and one thing that I really think would probably make it so was because Canada's Wonderland already has a ton of people going to it. Uh, as you know, dive coasters are basically places where GP come to, like, they love dive coasters because it's just so intimidating to them, so they're obviously going to love dive coasters a lot more than, say, an Aero Looper or a uh, B&M Invert. So, yeah, they're definitely GP magnets and GP love them, which is one reason why they could be adding it. Um, but another reason why I think it could be a B&M Invert, though, here is my other point, is that in the construction files, it says that it's going to have, like, a tunnel dive. Now, I don't remember any other B&M dive coaster having a tunnel dive. However, I do remember several B&M inverts doing that, like Nemesis does that, Montu does that, or at least they have trench runs, and so does Alpengeist. Several B&M inverts do this, and honestly, I think it'd be pretty cool to see another one. Um, however, if it is a dive coaster and do a trench dive, I think that'd be pretty cool too. But yeah, and also there's going to be a water element. I think the water element is a reason it could be a dive coaster, simply because like most dive co or most roller coasters with an element are not inverted coasters. <laughs> Because it'd be harder because the track's up here and not down here. But if they do the thing that they did with Shambhala and made it into like a squirting fountain, that'd be pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you guys want to see the track, I'm posting it right here. Uh, full credit goes to Canada's Wonderland fan on YouTube and Instagram. So go ahead and subscribe to that channel because they're probably posting more stuff about it. So if you want more details about this project, go ahead and definitely subscribe to them. Because this is probably the only part of it I'm going to cover simply because I'm California based, I'm not really Canada based or really based anywhere else. So I'm also gonna bring you guys California roller coaster news. But if I hear anything big coming up, like say this is an example, um, I'm definitely gonna report on it, but don't just don't rely on my channel to give you the entire thing when other channels can definitely explain it better. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos. Uh, also I'm gonna be doing a coaster challenge soon, so definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, don't forget to turn on the post notifications, and I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful, great day, and have a Six Flags day.